guys, welcome back. Uh, gonna do two videos this week. Did one on the uh, RC full drive lift. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, please do check that out. Really cool. Um, but today, what I want to focus on is this particular truck here. Um, this is one of my favorite trucks to run on uh, the beach here, uh, which is really one of the only cool spots I have to run here, in my opinion. Um, this truck uh, definitely holds some sentimental value to me, and uh, I'm gonna get into explaining to you guys about that. But uh, yeah, so this particular truck here was built by a forum friend of mine named Tim Miner. Most people know him by King Cobra. Tim was, in my opinion, a legendary scale builder. He could build anything and make it cool. I'm not just talking about crawlers. I'm talking drift cars, drag cars, pre-runners, monster trucks, rat rods, gassers, you name it, he could build it, and it was freaking awesome. Sadly, Tim came down with cancer many years back, and he did not survive. His collection of vehicles were left to his son, and after his passing, his son had checked in on the forms, particularly scale 4x4, which is where uh, Tim hung out mostly, and he kind of checked in, said like, hey, you know, my dad... You know, love this forum and, you know, appreciate all the kind words and, the, you know, the support and everything. Uh, I have his cars and his trucks and, uh, you know, hoping to keep his, you know, memory alive by those and everything else. And that was kind of the end of it. No one really knew what the status was of the cars or the trucks. Um, probably a year or so after that, one of Tim's builds was, which was a, uh, a Palmer, uh, like, Hemi-based Purple Cuda popped up on eBay in a similar geographic location to where he lived. I got worried because, not to go into Tim's personal life too much here, but he had been going through a divorce while he was sick and I was afraid that the cars were being sold out from beneath his son. So I contacted the buyer, explained to him the situation, how Tim was an online buddy of mine and, you know, the cars and the trucks and this and that. And the, buyer, the seller agreed to end the auction early for me and I was able to save the car. I then tried reaching out to Tim's son, uh, Tim Jr., and I wasn't able to make contact with him, so I just held on to the car within my collection to preserve it. Fast forward uh, to a couple years back now, I believe in 2015, Tim's son came back up on the forums, and he's now older, he's in the service, um, and he's looking to part ways with some of his dad's collection because he's getting into full-size vehicles, much like how his dad was as well. So, fortunately for me, I reached out to his son and he was into Subarus. I'm into Subarus. Perfect. So, we got the talking and what was really cool was is his son actually held on to quite a few of the vehicles from the collection until I could scrape up all the funds. But um, I initially bought Tim's 57 Chevy Gasser, his uh, Chevy Rat Rod pickup truck, and then after a couple months, I was able to obtain a couple of his Volkswagen builds. And I was also able to obtain this Ford Freerunner. I always thought this truck was really cool. And probably the coolest thing about this truck is, is it's such a simple vehicle. It's, there's not even too much to talk about, uh, really, about it. It's just the paint and the little bit of detail work that Tim did to this thing just really sets it out, you know, aside from the other vehicles out there, and just makes for a really cool truck. All this thing is, is a Tamiya Hornet with a Tamiya uh, Pre-Runner Ford F-150 body from you know the early uh, 2000s, late 90s or whatever, uh, fitted to the chassis. And of course it has a couple of Tim's custom touches like the window net. It's also got the simulated roll bar inside, some KC off-road lights, the aluminum on the Pre-Runner bumper. And he also added the stock axial style trailing arms to it to give the suspension that accurate Pre-Runner look. I just recently went ahead and added, um, after searching for the right tire and wheel combo for this thing for a long time, I added some CNC custom wheels, um, 1.5s, along with some RC full drive uh, wheels, uh, tires, uh, the new MTRs, and they are a perfect fit for this truck. I think the thing looks awesome now. I'd like to think that Tim would approve. Um, I did recently get this thing out. Uh, every summer I try to get out to the beach and rip this thing and roost some sand. It's tons of fun. And you just watch the old to my suspension try to keep up with the, the bumps and everything and it just puts a huge grin on your face. 
Uh, I did, though, upgrade the electronic systems. I did an Orion D drive like I did in my Blackfoot here, and this thing absolutely cooks now. It is so much fun. It really rips the sand. Um, so, yeah, definitely a simple build. Definitely probably, in my opinion, one of Tim's like most basic yet most awesome builds and really just puts a huge smile on your face when you run it. Uh, really happy to have it in the collection. And uh, yeah, check out some video of this thing running. Thanks, guys.